All right, right now it is 820 on a Saturday morning and for the most part the calm now after the storm, but for a lot of folks, uh, there's some devastation that folks are going to have to, to deal with for, for, for months and years to come, especially back out to our west. Here in the mid-state, there is damage that we've been seeing in a mm -hmm. couple of spots out there, but headline of the moment, storm warnings have all expired. Every single one of our warnings. So that means the active weather that is currently with us is not severe, but we still have a tornado watch in place. Areas just off to our east and along the Alabama state line. Now with this watch, it is anticipated to expire early, but right now it is slated for 11 AM. If we keep going in the right direction, Things are going to calm down quite quickly as far as storms are concerned. Here's a look at the power of five radars. You'll notice drying out in some spots, but please note that we're still going to see a little bit of a sprinkle activity. You notice right now just seeing some of that closer over into Little Lot, but nothing is severe for any of us across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Still some lightning though, portions of Crossville, and we still have some really gusty winds within this system but things are calming down. But let me show you the storm report so far. Please note we had numerous tornado warnings and these have got to be verified and then put into the storm report. So this is what we have so far and you can tell, especially north and west, that's a lot of tornado marks and that's not even a third of them. Then we've got a lot of wind damage. So locations that didn't necessarily have a tornado warning had a lot of wind. We had straight line winds and obviously a lot of damage associated with that as well. But thankfully, we're beginning to calm things down around here. We'll continue to keep an eye on the system as it moves. But Leland, one thing's for sure, even though the rain's going to be out of here, we still have some really gusty winds. I'm talking right now in Murray, 28 miles an hour. There's power outages down as well as cell phone service. I just spoke with Amy. She just now got her cell phone back in service from the system and Hopkins was hours ago. Yeah, and there's a lot of electrical issues that are out there. Let me see if I, I get the, the latest update from Nashville Electric. Uh, at one point there were 90,000. There's still a bunch of folks in the metro area without electricity right now. The latest number I have is 86,000 customers without electricity in Metro Nashville. So if you've got hopefully your cell phone charged up, you can continue to watch us uh, on your streaming device. Uh, we have pictures that have come in. Don't go drive anywhere. We don't need you to do that because the f f rescue personnel need to get out. But if you're able to uh, to stand on your porch and look out and see maybe some trees down or some damage and you're able to safely get it to us, then, then, then do so. Again, don't drive anywhere. If you can stand on the front porch, stand on the back porch and get a nice shot to send to us, send it in to my5 at newschannel5.com or hit us up on our social media pages. A lot of you know about the uh, Festival of Trees down in Stevens Valley. They've been advertising that a bit and so you can see some of those Christmas trees are down right now in the Stevens Valley area. That's actually a little southwest of uh, Dave Nashville in Williamson County. So here we go. Rain and storms right now continue to pull on out of here. Temperatures are dropping and so we're right around 60 now. We'll be at 53 at lunchtime and then by the end of the day we are in the 40s across the Mid-South. Satellite and radar does show what's left of that rain in the eastern counties. The strongest part of the storms right now are on the lead edge of this, but we still see showers from Columbia now, Murfreesboro, Shelbyville, and then back over to McMinnville. The Storm Prediction Center only has a little part of our region right now in a threat for some strong storms. And for now, there is the tornado watch that remains. It's in effect through 11. Don't think it'll stay until 11 o'clock, but until this is pulled, then you need to at least stay weather aware in those eastern counties. So there's exact track showing that What's out there will quickly pull on out of here. Still a fair amount of cloud cover, then clouds decreasing overnight. Here now your seven day forecast. So for today, we're 62 and dropping tomorrow, 52. And then we'll watch temps rebound to 71 on Wednesday, 68 on Thursday. But that gives way to more rain, maybe storms by Thursday and on Friday.